Geekly, the Geektacular, I perhaps, I don't know what to call though. I'm very interested in running this Geek League right here, and some people, you, you might never see my feet, you heard my name around, around media, or sometimes they are questioning the Snowdown sometimes, or, or maybe Inner Geekdom perhaps right here. What's up guys? Mike Shang, the hype man, back for another match. Uh, this time making my debut in the Geektacular League. The Raptor Master here is Jonathan Peck right here though. Okay, and here's this little Geek League right here. Just sort of all well, people begging me. Come on, go do the Geek League. You've been good at it. Uh, but, okay, sure I am. And I got all geek right here. To this and to this. It's been long awaited. I've been fighting for one of these matches for a long time, but for some reason, they just couldn't get me into one, and now they do. So, I don't know who I'm playing this league today. Just maybe some guy named Dom David. I don't know who that guy is right here. Just, just an average competitor, I guess, right here, so. And I gotta go against this guy. It's gonna be a fun match. It's going down. It's gonna be a fun match, though. So I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Let's have some fun today, everybody. Here I must. Here I must. The Raptor Master is. The hype is real today because I'm here to win, and that's what I do. Let's do this. to the movie trivia face-off geek tacular division i am your commissioner dj snacks we are ready for another fantastic geek division match today two newcomers making their de debuts in the, the geek division joining me on the desk today is our good friend you know him as the chosen one he is chris bingle what's happening my friend oh, it's a pleasure to be here snacks all right, I'm going to call you the chosen one and not the frozen one like I did earlier because I was messing with you there. <laughs> uh, took you a second to catch that one, though. So we'll let that, we'll let that one slide. Yeah. So how do you feel about calling your first match in the league today? You ready for this? You know, I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, I, I've done my research. I've, I've watched uh, a lot of matches here in the face-off. Uh, I'm really excited about our two competitors today, and uh, uh, I think this is going to be a good one. All right, well, let's get them in here. What do you say? I'm going to do some introductions now. Introducing first, representing the great state of Ohio. He is a professional comedian by trade. His website is MikeShayComedy.com. He is Mike Shay, the hype man. What's up, movie trivia face off? I'm here to play. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm talking about. That's the way you make your make your yeah. way into this league. All right, his opponent today. Representing the fine state of Virginia. They make good hams there, by the way. He is simply known as the Raptor Master. He is Jonathan Peck. Raptor Master's here. Let's do this thing. Let's rock. That's right. Excitement. That's how we love doing our stuff here today. All right. Hype Man, are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Raptor Master, are you ready? Let's do it. Chosen One, are you ready? I'm ready. Let's get ready to face off. All right, round one of these geek tackler matches is going to go like this. Here's are your rules. Each competitor will get a total of 10 questions in random categories in round one. You will have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer on your whiteboard, notebook, paper towel, napkin, whatever you use it. When asked, you will show that piece of writing material to the camera as well as verbalize your answers. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. If you score a perfect round, there will be a one-point bonus question given to the person who does have the perfect round. You each have three repeats, or JTEs, named after the famous Ecuadorian movie critic, Josh the Engineer. And one challenge. If you do challenge and it is successful, you will keep your challenge. Do you understand the rules as I have laid them out for you? Yes, sir. Sure. All right, let's get started. I got your first question right here. 
All right, that comes from the category of Middle Earth. That's little people going for long walks. The question is, what was Gollum's original name? This is right in my little house. Middle Earth is one of, my one of the best movie performances ever. It's a shame it doesn't get recognized more. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with the hype man. Smeagol. That is correct. I love you doing the voice as well. Jonathan, what do you got? Smeagol. Oh, come on up each other. One, one. That oh, is come on. Be, be original. Come on. <laughs> For your next question, in the category of DC movies, what is the name of Joker's right hand goon in 1989's Batman? A solid question. That is a solid question. And I'm not a huge fan of DC, but I know this one. Five, four, three, two, one, and pens down. Let's go with Mr. Peck. Bob. That is correct. And Hype Man. I said Bill. Oh, my boy, my boy. You will lead after those two questions. Your next question comes from the category of Star Trek. That is trekking around the stars. <laughs> Name one of the Star Trek movies whose plot primarily hinges on traveling through the time into past, into the past. Yeah, easy for me to say, right? Name one Star Trek movie that involves time travel. How about that? Wouldn't it be great if we could go through time as often as James Kirk does? Or any of them. I mean, look at the series. Every single series had multiple time travel episodes. Five, four. Repeat the question. All right. That is your first use of a JTE. Question again. Name one of the Star Trek movies whose plot primarily hinges on traveling through time into the past. You know, this is in your wheelhouse as well as mine there, Frozen One. <laughs> Four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with the hype man this time. Star Trek Four. That is correct. And Star Trek Four: The Voyage Home. My pen's a little bit will very drink here. Just want to show you. We also accepted First Contact and the 2009 Star Trek movie. Yeah. Awesome. Your next question in the category of DC movies. On what day does V tell the people of Britain to join him in an uprising against the British government? Oh, that's... Uh... I love this. The card question writing team is so damn good. I love this date. I celebrate this date every year. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And pens down. We will start with Donovan. My mind's a little bit iffy. It's the 5th of November. That is correct. Hype man. Join me on November the 5th, one year from today. Remember, remember, the 5th of November, indeed. One point each. All right, after that, we have a 4-3 lead. 4-3. The Raptor Master is ahead going into your next question. Over to you there. I do believe it's your question, sir. Oh, that is, you are correct. My mistake. I didn't scroll down far enough. There we go. All right, your next question is from the category of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the MCU. In Spider-Man Homecoming, what toy did Ned drop and break when he found out Peter was Spider-Man? I'm very jealous of Ned, and I'm also very mad at Ned for dropping it. I agree on both points. Three, two, one. Heads down. And we will start with the hype man. A Lego Death Star. And Mr. Peck. What do you got? One of my friends has these. A Lego Death Star. That is correct. Very expensive. All right. Next question. Continuing in the theme of Star Wars. In The Empire Strikes Back, who was Echo 7? This is a great question. 
Do you think when he calls out Echo 7, he goes, Echo, Echo, Echo 7? I highly doubt it. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with Jonathan. Dax? Incorrect. And Mike? Echo 3 to Echo 7. Honold, buddy. Do you read me? There you go. That is correct. And that eliminates the perfect round. There will be no perfect rounds today. 5-5 five, five is the score at this time. Your next question is from the category of Marvel movies. These are non-MCU Marvel movies. Why is Wolverine's healing ability failing him in the movie Logan? Movie I've seen, so I've never done this before. By far one of the best Marvel movies ever made. Well yeah, done. I just haven't watched it yet. Five, four, three, two, one. Repeat, seven. repeat. All right, you did get that in time. That is your first use of a JTE. The question again Why is Wolverine's healing ability failing him in the movie Logan? I don't think my fellow singles commissioner, the Spaniard, is a big fan of this movie. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And we will start with Jonathan. The Airmania has begun to worn out. And Hype Man. It's an adamantium poisoning. Poisoning is correct. Adamantium poisoning is the answer we were looking for. I believe I was correct or he was correct. Mike was correct. Oh. We're specifically looking for adamantium poisoning. Uh, okay. 6-5 lead, 6-5. Question 8. On the category of movie quotes, these are quotes from movies. In what movie will you hear the line, some men aren't looking for something logical, some men just want to watch the world burn? Isn't it hard to read those questions and not try to do the accent? You want to do the voice so bad, and you're hearing it in your head. I heard it in the accent. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with you, Mike. The Dark Knight. And Mr. Peck. Scarlet Witch. The correct answer is The Dark Knight. Alfred Pennyworth. Some men just want to watch the world burn. Yeah, we were looking for the movie. All right. That is a seven to five lead going into the next question, which comes to you from the category of the DCEU, or whatever the hell they're calling that thing nowadays, which if you can answer that, that's a five-point question in DC. In Batman versus Superman, Dawn of Justice... Where does Lex Luthor believe devils come from? Now, I know Mark Riley is a fan of this movie. I've never watched it. Still not have good reviews. I like it. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We'll start with the sky. That is correct. And Jonathan. Jonathan? I just put from gods. We're looking for the sky. That is a direct quote from the movie, the sky. All right, and your 10th and final question in this round one comes from the category of mixed bag. This could come from anywhere in the Geek Tackler universe. And your question is, Richard Dreyfus, Morgan Freeman, Brian Cox, Helen Mirren, and Bruce Willis appear. All right, we're going to give you a free repeat on that one because our my partner over there did break up trying to say that question. Oh. So if you want to give a free repeat there, Chris. All right. Richard Dreyfus, Morgan Freeman, Fox, Helen Mirren, and Bruce Willis appear in what DC film? Appear in what DC film? DC imprint film. That's what it says. Okay, well, let's take their word for it. Five, four, three, two, repeat. One. All right. Richard Dreyfus, Morgan Freeman, 
Brian Cox, Helen Mirren, and Bruce Willis appear in what DC imprint? So I'll do some the JTU just in case. There's some shooting all that competitors need to learn to use their JTUs. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. We will start with Jonathan. Rad. That is correct. And what? Red. Correct. Looking like we have about a 9-6 lead for the hype man here at the end of round one. Uh, solid round for Mike. The Raptor Master kind of stumbled there halfway through the round, but did get that last question. 9-6, you know, three points is not that bad hitting the round two. Of course, we know the wheel can always come back and bite you right in the butt, huh? <laughs> And so now we go into round two, better known as the Wheel Wound, the Reel of Destiny. Each competitor will spin the category wheel. Whatever it lands on, you will be given five questions from that chosen category. If you don't like the category, you get a mulligan. You can re-spin unless it lands on an opponent's choice. But if you do use your mulligan, whatever it lands on, that's what you get. Questions are worth two points a piece. However, if you're having a little difficulty with it, you can always ask for multiple choice. But unfortunately, then it would be dropped down to one point a piece. Opponents may steal if their competitor gives an incorrect answer. And as always, repeats and challenges are still in effect in this round. Mike, you currently have the lead, so you have the choice to either spin first or defer to your opponent. I'm going to spin first. All right, the categories on the wheel today are Indiana Jones, Star Wars, The Wizarding World, Movie Quotes, DC Movies, the MCU, Marvel Movies, the DCEU, Star Trek, and Middle Earth, as well as Spinners and Opponents Choice. Are you ready? Spin that wheel. All right, here we go with your first spin. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Like we're going to end up with Marvel movies. Um, let's spin it again. All right, spinning away from Marvel movies. Let's see what we get. Looking like we're going to end up with Wizarding World. That yes. Harry Potter role. All right, you're going to take that. I'll take and it. I will administer your questions in this round. Give me just a second to scroll down to the right place. All right, you're going to have the Wizarding World. I will be giving you your questions today. Your first question is, what is the final Horcrux that is destroyed before Voldemort's death? Uh, so that would down. be... Neg mm -hmm. Nagini. That is correct for two points. Yes. Your next question. What kidnaps Dolores Umbridge in the Forbidden Forest? The centaurs. That is correct for another two points. The man knows his wizarding world. Third question. What is Aberforth's last name? Dumbledore. Also correct for two points. <laughs> I thought that was a trick question for a second. <laughs> Looking at a 15 point total right now. Two questions left. What are the carnivorous winged horses? Thestrals. Another two points. And your final question in round two of Wizarding World is as follows. Who is Grok's half-brother? Hagrid. No hesitation. Scored the perfect round two. Oh, God. Looking at a 19 to 6 Jesus. lead. I think this guy has definitely points. spent some time Woo! with a wand and a robe. <laughs> yes, he has. <laughs> I may or may not have serious black swan hanging on the wall right now. I'm not going to either confirm nor deny. Neither confirm nor deny, as usual. We're going to bring up the wheel again. And this time, we will ask Mr. Peck for his choices. All right. Let me know when you're ready to spin, sir. Do it. All right, spinning. Here is your first spin. Oh, 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 oh. Spinner 
Spinner's Choice! Aw, rats. Spinner's Choice. What you gonna pick today there, Mr. Peck? Hmm. Eeny, meeny, miny. I'll go MCU. Right, MCU it is, and Chris, you will be calling those questions out to Jonathan in the MCU. All right, here we go. Five questions in the category you spun and chose to stay with, MCU. Here we go. Question one. What is the name uh, what is the name of the first name of Scott Lang's storytelling friend? Louise. That is correct. All right. Your second question in the category of MCU. What MCU movie does Hawkeye debut in? Thor. Yes, Thor. That, that is correct. Question three in the category of MCU. Or, yeah, question three. Here we go. What is the name of the missile that Iron Man shows off at the beginning of the Iron Man movie? The Jericho missile. That is also correct. I've got Jericho. I've got Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Question four. What is the name of Korg's old friend, slumped against the wall and presumably dead in Thor Rag? Meek. Ooh, no, I'm sorry. Mike, your chance to steal. This is Doug. Doug's dead. Dirty. Amazing oh, steal by the steal. hype man. That is correct. Dirty. Two point oh. steal. Oh, darn. Looks like we got another Doug. <laughs> darn it. And I will have to point out that Jonathan does have to get this question right, otherwise he will be knocked out. Damn it! All right. Here we go. Category of MCU, your final question. What do the Ravagers call Earth? Can you, can you repeat that? Like, you can't cut out a bit. Do a technical repeat? Sure. Yeah, okay. Category of MCU, what do the Ravagers call Earth? Terra. That is correct. And he manages to stay in it and avoid the... 21-14 lead at the end of round two for the hype man. A two-point steal extended his lead out. Jonathan did come back and nail that last question. Not a bad round. Scored eight points, but that two-point gets a four-point swing with the steal. Heading into round three. Not insurmountable lead, but he's definitely going to have to hit all of his questions to stay in this match. Hammer back for round three. This is going to be exciting. 21 to 14 lead for the hype man going into this round. Here is how round three is going to work. Each competitor will pick three numbers from that will correspond to random categories. That means between one and six. Each competitor will get three questions. Those questions have the point values of two, three, and five points respectively. There's no stealing or multiple choice in this round. Mike, you have one JTE left. Jonathan, you have two, and both your challenges are still on the table. Are you ready? Let's, Let's do, do this. All right, Mike, you're in the lead, so we'll get your numbers first. Between 1 and 16, please. 4, 8, and 12. I have 4, 8, and 12. Jonathan, yours, three numbers, please. 10, 7, and 2. 10, 7, and 2. All right. Let's see what number 2 is. That would be the category of movie release dates. Jonathan, since you are behind, I'll ask you your two-point question first. Movie release dates. What year... Was Star Wars Episode Five: The Empire Strikes Back Strikes Back released? Nineteen eighty. That is correct for two points. Gives you sixteen total. All right, your next one. You said seven. Mm -hmm. That is going to be the category of DC movies. DC movies. Question is. 
name both actresses to play Rachel Dawes in Christopher Nolan's Batman's film. Katie Holmes and Maggie Gyllenhaal. That is correct for three more points, giving you 19. Unfortunately, that still leaves you behind 5-2, so I have to ask you your five-point question. Your five-point question. Nine. All right. Your five-point question is in the categories of weapons, technology, and magical objects. Your five-point question to stay in the game and push it back over to the hype man to have to answer it at a minimum. His two-point question is as follows. What does Venkman call the Ghostbusters backpacks in the elevator in the movie Ghostbusters? Hmm. Looking for the actual name, right? Exactly. What we what Venkman calls them in the elevator. Five, four. Repeat. Three. All right, that is your second JTE. The question again, what does Venkman call the Ghostbusters backpacks in the elevator in Ghostbusters? No, it's actually called, but I don't know. He actually said it. Five, four, three. Repeat. Two. All right, that is your last JTE. One more time, the question is, what does Venkman call the Ghostbusters backpacks in the elevator in Ghostbusters? Okay, here he goes. Five. Proton packs, final answer. And your winner by technical knockout is Mike the Hype Man Shady. Looking for unlicensed nuclear accelerators. Uh, I didn't know that one either. <laughs> unlicensed nuclear accelerators is the answer we're looking for. <laughs> Final score on that is 21 to 19. Not bad by either one of our competitors. Good Especially game, man. Good game. Thanks. All right, let me check and see if I've got the weather update from up north in the Great White. Looks like the weather's clear. Looks like the signal's connecting. All right. We're going to have to send it up north to the Elks Lodge and our buddy Andrew the Elk Count for the post match interviews. Take it away, Elk. What is up, Face Off Fanatics? Welcome back once again to the Elks Lodge with me, the hardest working man in Face Off. Yes, I said it. I'll continue to say it. I don't care what anybody else thinks. And with me today, another man working hard and putting up the points, knocking them down in a geek-tacular, spectacular match. This is Mike, the hype man, Shay. Mike, how you feeling today with your victory? Um, I'm feeling good, man. I've been feeling real good. <laughs> I, uh, I've been trying to get into uh, scheduling being what it is, trying to get in this geek them to the to, to geek tacular to, to, to show what I got. And I think I think today is one of many matches I'm going to have where I prove what a what a, what a powerhouse I'm going to be in this division. I had kind of a lame duck start in, in singles, but I think I redeemed myself considering I lost on a on a geek question in singles in my first match. I think I redeemed myself today. I would certainly say redemption is one word for it. Incredible, outstanding, amazing. Some more words for your performance through those first two rounds today. First round, nine out of 10 on the cusp of a perfect round. And he goes ahead and takes that momentum forward into round number two, five for five, 10 points, two points steal, 21-17 after the second round. You have got to be feeling like a monster. I uh, yeah I you know when it when the when I spun the wheel and it first landed on Marvel movies, I was like I I know them but not as well as I know like MCU Harry Potter Wizarding World is definitely one of my strengths so when I spun again and it landed on that I I kind of felt I I mean not to sound you know cocky but I'm gonna sound cocky I felt a wave of relief kind of come over me knowing everything was everything was gonna be okay. Certainly does look pretty okay for you. Round number three, you got it easy. You get to sit back. We've had some complaints from people winning TKO victories in this league about their rankings. I think you're going to be saying a different too. You're going to be saying this is a good thing, aren't you? 
I mean, look, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I don't know what everybody's complaining about. I think it works out just fine. <laughs> it's not to work at all, and all he had to do was go nearly perfect, super dominant through the first two rounds. Mike, the hype man, Shay, I know you're going to do big things in the Geektacular League moving forward. Everybody, remember to check him out online at MikeShayComedy.com. He's a funny man. He's scary when it comes to the movie trivia and this with his opponent jonathan the raptor master pack and folks we are back with jonathan the raptor master pack debuting today in the geektacular division little did he know he was coming up against a brick wall and mike the hype man shay but jonathan peck how are you feeling you perform pretty well out there yeah very good very good yeah uh even though i did okay very good so far around here and I, and I was hoping, like, I don't know what I'm going to do rank-wise right here. Even though I just lost my first match right here, I feel like I could do more than this to my current performance right now. And just wanted to say congratulations to the winner right here, obviously right here. And did a very good match right here. And, man, uh, there's certain things that maybe couldn't have gone my way. But, well, no, it is what it is right here. Well, let me say... The match on expert, sure. The match had some tough cuts, some deep cuts, like the proton packs, the unlicensed nuclear accelerators, I think they said it was, on their backs in the movie. But you did very well through your third round. You got two out of three in your third round. You got eight out of ten in your second round. Normally, pretty darn good numbers to put up. Like I said, a little short in the first round, and that's what put you behind when you're seven points down into round three, you fought hard in that round three. And how do you feel moving forward in the league, Mr. Peck? I will be back. I hope everybody knows that. I'll be back right here. I don't have time for maybe revenge for a bit until it's time to prove my revenge again right here, have a rematch against him. And also at the same time, I get stuck a lot this time around even tiny parts right here i just want to tell everyone else i might be out i might, I might be down but i'm not out the hear that the raptors are coming right now because the rat raptor is coming and he's coming for you all right raptor master is coming for you you heard it folks he is not giving up and like i said i think the numbers might deceive a bit on this one it's a very well fought match from both competitors once again my condolences to you mr peck we're gonna take it back right now to the desk snacks and mr ingle take it away all right we've traveled back from the Oaks lodge thank you andrew self-proclaimed hardest working man in the movie trivia face-off the elk we do appreciate those post-match interviews. You do a fantastic job, sir. Thank you very much. Good match today between the Hype Man and the Raptor Master. 21 to 19 final, solid match. What are your final thoughts on this match today there, Mr. Evil? Well, uh, Hype Man really showed he had knowledge. Uh, those Harry Potter questions, he didn't waste any time at all. He whipped through them really well. Uh, Jonathan Jonathan knew his knowledge, too. He had a little slip up there, but uh, Hype Man uh, took the steal on that and a great first round for the Hype Man. Just uh, unfortunately was too much for Jonathan to overcome, but a great performance from both competitors. Absolutely. That two-point steal proved to be the difference maker in the long run, that two-point loss. But the good thing about the Geek Ma Geeks division is one loss doesn't put you out. Two losses you have to have before you are eliminated from contention. So JPEG will have a chance to prove himself again and stay in this Geek Tacular Seasons Championship running. I want to say thank you to our competitors today, Mike the Shay, Hi Mike the Hype Man Shay, easy for me to say, and Jonathan the Raptor Master Pack. Solid round, we do appreciate it. Thank you again over to my friend, Mr. Chris, the Chosen One Angle, the Frozen One, for joining me on the desk today. Spectacular debut. Thank you very much for that. A big shout out and thank you to all the people behind the scenes that you never get to see, but they make these matches what they are. The writers, the production team, the, the editors, the question writing team, social media folks, the graphics team, all of these people behind the scenes that do such fine work to make these matches look as good as they do. I'm just the on-air talent. I just try to look pretty and I fail miserably. And as usual, I want to thank you, all of you out there, the Face Off Fanatics, for tuning in. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Get the people out there to know it. Get this league out there and show your friends and people you know who love the Schmodown. Let them see what we're doing over here. 
And as always, I want to close out by saying be excellent to each other.